What are your thoughts on an electric walking trolley? Well, the rest of the world looks at it a little differently than we do here in Canada. Although, although we have a growing market, Europe is still way ahead of us. David Wells, the chairman of MotoCaddy, was in town. I had the chance to talk to him. Here at the JPSM Golf Showroom, just east of Toronto in Durham, Ontario, Mark Zucchino with the chairman of Moto Caddy, Mr. David Wells. David's been in the business now close to 30 years. He corrected me off camera already today when I said 20 as we were talking earlier. David, thanks for taking the time to do this and uh, I guess visiting us here on Golf Talk Canada. You're absolutely welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, love Canada, love the people who work in Canada with us. Um, it's a breath of fresh air to, to be and it's well worth the, uh, the overnighter from London. Well, uh, London, that's, that's actually where I wanted to, to go with this and talk to you because Motocaddy is the largest uh, trolley company in the world. And my first introduction to the product itself and, and what it could do and, and how enjoyable it can make around a golf was in Europe, playing golf in Ireland, playing golf in Scotland, etc. We're about 8% of the population here in Canada that would use an electric walking trolley. What, how do those numbers skew in Europe? We always talk about them being quite large, but I don't think our audience has an idea of how common this product is outside of Canada. Uh, to give you the, just the big number, it's about one in, uh, sorry, seven out of 10 people. So 70% roughly of people who play golf in the UK use an electric golf trolley. So that, that's sort of good, hard, solid data. Our courses are built to walk basically. Um, it's the home of, home of golf, sorry to say that, but that's where it all began. And golf courses were, were built, a lot of them around the turn of the century. We didn't have the carts or ride-ons or any other methods of trans transportation to get around. Uh, we had caddies, human caddies. And that's how, how it started. And then from that point has become less and less caddies. Um, people use you know, good old fashioned push buggies and pull buggies, and we've seen them. I think everybody's probably got one in a garage at home. Um, and the natural way forward was as soon as uh, a company called Power Caddy got involved way back in the early 80s, um, that's when it became a commercial uh, commercialization of electric golf trolleys. It's amazing, 70%. So if you're not using a product like this in the, in the UK or in Europe, you're, you're actually in the minority of the golf population as, a per, as opposed to the majority. Uh, is the biggest challenge to educate the consumer in this country, uh, is it harder education because of the modern day golf courses? For some reason, they went down that road in North America, building these huge ballparks that were kind of corporate golf friendly. And has that been the biggest challenge uh, from coming from, you, say, the UK to Canada? I, I mean, 100% is, is it's a real challenge, but things are starting to move on our side. Um, there's a lot of talk in golf, and we're picking up about obviously the health benefits of the game, right? And I personally don't think it's a whole healthy game sitting there on a buggy yeah. for four or five hours and driving around the place. So walking is number one thing that has to get the education process. My biggest worry is that it's uh, the ride on buggy revenue is actually quite an important part of revenue for golf courses. But part of that is why you've started fleet programs all around the world as well. It gives the golf pro an opportunity to make money in terms of uh, c competing with the, 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 the riding trolley. Exactly. We're, we're trying to fit in with the commercial needs of the golf professional or the golf course themselves. So we're saying you can, you can still make some revenue out of your walkers. Uh, without a doubt. In terms of demographics, because I know in this country we've come down close to 20 years in demographics in the last 10 to 15 from uh, really when uh, Joseph McLucky from JPSM Golf started a, a, a big push in the marketplace here in Canada to where we are now. You know, you've gone from 60, 65 year, year old as your average age crashing down into the 40s. Has that happened in Europe too? Is the younger demographic still using this product, getting on board with it? We actually, as MotorCaddy, we uh, are the very first sponsor and title sponsor of uh, the PGA Euro Pro Tour, which is a bit like your web.com mm -hmm. in the States, it's a smaller thing. And in fact, we've got the MotorCaddy Masters, which is I've got to fly back for for next week, um, which is basically all young golf professionals um, aspiring, they all use the trolleys. They don't have caddies, they use motorized golf carts, wow. which is fantastic. And, and we got kiddies, I've got, we got little kids that use them. You know, there's no, there's no stigma. Everybody uses them. 
That's amazing. Well, we're, we'll get that here. Before we let you go, what's what's next in the in this market? What's next for Motocaddy in terms of where do you see this going from a technology standpoint or in terms of a product standpoint? If we were to flash out five years from now, 10 years from now, where do you see? Uh, well, we, we, we're embracing technology big time to make it more fun as well. We've got GPS units that are on, on the carts themselves. Um, foldability, lightweight, and lithium technology. Actually, it's as whatever your imagination is, is where these things You don't want go. to go there that with me. <laughs> okay, this, this product could get scary. It definitely could get <laughs> scary. David, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, and uh, safe travels home, and uh, thank, thank you. you for your support on Golf Talk Canada as well. Uh, thanks really for appreciate me. that. So it's fun, it's for it's health purposes, it's for social purposes, something we really never think about or talk about, but uh, keeping a group of four together, walking, enjoying your day, there's a lot of benefits to this. And I would highly suggest to you that if you're traveling to Europe, especially, you're about to go to Scotland, Ireland, uh, England, like I'm going to do later on this summer, uh, and you want to try this product, that is a great place to see the benefits of this product. And uh, Or go to jpsmgolf.com and uh, check out the line, uh, lineup of Moto Caddy product.